Hello friends and welcome to the YouTube channel of Microtronics Technologies. Today I am going to give you the demonstration of the project Ambulance Tracking System using GPS and GSM. This is the complete circuit of the project Ambulance Tracking System. Here we have used SIM 900 GSM modem. This is GPS modem. These two modems are connected to the main PCB of the project. This is the keypad. Here you can see LCD display, microcontroller, MAXO32 IC, E square PROM IC and the power supply section. Microcontroller will continuously keep on reading the data from GPS modem. From that data it will retrieve the longitude and latitude and it will display on the LCD. This data will be continuously shown after every 2 seconds and after a particular periodic interval it will send the SMS to the registered mobile number. So in this project you can register 2 mobile numbers into the microcontroller program and the SMS will be sent to these 2 numbers. SMS will be received on the registered mobile number. So now you can see here. SMS is received SMS as ambulance location and with the URL so if you click here it will open the URL in the Google map so now you can see the location is shown on the Google map so this particular SMS will be sent after every periodic interval of time then we have also given one additional feature in this project uh, keypad so it has four keys each key has a unique message so the driver of the ambulance or the person admin person in the ambulance can use this button to send some emergency messages let's see I have pressed key number 2 it is showing key pressed sending SMS now the SMS will be received on this mobile now you can see the SMS is received on the mobile and the text of this particular SMS is ambulance reached at the destination. So similarly we have given four different uh, messages for each key. The driver can use these four keys to send four respective messages. And now I will give you the explanation of the circuit. This is the GSM modem. To be specific we have used SIM 900 GSM modem. Here you have to insert a SIM card. This is the antenna of the GSM modem. Here is the DB9 connector used for serial communication and this is the power supply given to the GSM modem. Similarly this is the GPS modem. This is the antenna. So it has a very long wire and it has an antenna which you should keep at the window uh, because it should be sky facing. And uh, similar to the GSM modem, this GPS modem has a power supply connector and a DB9 connector. This DB9 connector is used for serial, serial communication with the microcontroller. Now you can see here the DB9 connector uh, is given here which is connected to this particular IC which is MAX232 IC. This MAX232 IC is used for the serial communication. This is the E square prom memory IC. Here is the main uh, unit or the main controlling unit of the circuit that is the 8051 microcontroller. To be specific we have used 89S51 microcontroller. This is 16x2 alphanumeric display. Here 5 pin connector is there for this keypad. So these, these are the 4 keys which is used to send emergency messages from the ambulance. Power supply circuit. So this circuit can be operated from a 12 volt DC adapter or a 12 volt AC transformer or even from a 12 volt battery. Right now in the project we have used a 12 volt DC adapter. This is 7805 voltage regulator. This is 1000 microfarad uh, capacitor. This is power supply indication LED and this is the 100 microfarad capacitor at the output of 7805. This is the uh, demonstration of the project Ambulance Tracking with GPS and GSM. Uh, we have another project Ambulance Tracking uh, with GPS and GSM along with the Patient Health Monitoring. 
please uh, visit the link in the description uh, for that another project so that's all about this demonstration thank you